Ladies, gentlemen, in places named after pastries, this is the Donut Plains, which is the start of the official second level set, I guess you'll say? Second place before the next castle. And this is the first level in the game with a secret in it that you can find on the map, or not on the map, but you can see it on the map. Something that took me forever to realize was that if a level is red, there's a secret exit. Normal- Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, rats. Normal levels have like a yellow. Here, I'll move so you can see it. The dot is bright red. All these are yellow because there's nothing special about them. But this one has a oversized key and a keyhole somewhere hidden in the level. You have to find both. Surprise. Why? How? Who? Huh? He turned around. He said, well, I, I suppose if I walked forward, nothing would happen. But if I turned around, I could be responsible for a death. Just gonna get you just for that. Do Mario's little super aggressive dreidel run. Let's see how hard it is to fly on a keyboard. Surprisingly, not very. That's okay, I still have room to mess it up. Now I'm doing good. This is the part... Aw, oh, as a kid, I never, ever, ever did properly. Because flying is tough. Especially on a Super Nintendo controller. That, that wasn't a joke. Like, you wanted to fly, you put your thumbs on the line. You know how many appendages I've lost? Oh, and now we get Yoshi. Because... Oops. Well, it worked. Oops, well, I'm flying anyway. I don't need him that badly. Bonk. Oop. Gotta get it, gotta get it. I need the cape. I need the cape. I cannot live without the cape. It is the best power-up in any Mario game. That's a fact. Oh, there's the key. Well, I knew it was there. I just... It's a... Oh! It's a matter of getting to it. That one was on me. Let me get at least a mushroom so I don't... Da ha 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 fell on the pollen. Surprisingly, I guess Mario has serious allergies. Anyway, as you can see with the power of flight, it's not hard to get back to that point. And technically, you're supposed to go to the green switch pal- What? I thought flight lets you, like, kill those things midair. I guess not. Uh, technically- How on- What in tarnation? You're supposed to go to the green switch palace to open it up, and then you, like, run straight up a wall, but that's preposterous. I have the power of flight, so I'll do what I feel like. Here we go. Oh, I'm cheesing the level. Cheesing it. Which is an expression I actually really don't like, because why do we have to say cheesing? I didn't know I could do that. Okay, I'll be able to do it from here. No, I won't. That's why that pipe is there. Oh. How'd I miss that? I don't even know what killed me there. Okay, skip to the part where I beat it. Okay, uh, maybe I'm worse at this than I remember. Yeah, I'm gonna continue. What, what happens when you hit end? Oh, goodness, it's just a little video of Yoshi getting, like, eaten by Bowser. Why did Bowser capture the Yoshis, actually? Does he explain that? I think that's just Bowser's personality. I just killed you, why are you back? This ain't Buddhist, Mario. There's no reincarnation for you. Here we go. Now I'm just gonna show the whole thing, because I'm gonna make it this time. I know it. Something's gonna check. <laughs> Nailed it. Don't die. Oh, that would've been useful. So would not getting hurt. Let's play a bonus game. Just kidding, this isn't a bonus game, this is the free thing. And lots of money. But see that, those little diagonal things let you run up any wall. I don't, I almost said run up straight a wall. I don't know, I'm too distracted trying to fly. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, please don't die. Can I get the extra life? Ooh, I could, but I don't go back. I don't go back for nobody, sweet cheeks. Hope you don't feel left out. No, ha, huh, yes, he, gotcha. I'll even collect Yoshi, gotcha. Collect Yoshi and we'll live our life together. Just kidding. Oh, and he started to fly. Do it. 
Now just drift. Yoshi, I regret this. Now I... What button did I hit? I tried to jump off of him. Oh, too many things on screen at once. Duck. That didn't work. Yoshi? Don't you dare. Gotcha. Got two leaves. Okay. This is where it gets... You were dead. Please. One more hit. You won't come back. I jumped too early. That's okay. I can jump here. I got it. No, I didn't. I missed. I'm having serious trouble with this. This is shameful. Are you... Come on! Half the video is gonna be... The red dot areas on the map have two different exits. Oh, I'm... I don't think I've ever hit that thing before. I didn't know it actually told you. Come on, give me a... Give me a red one. Not you. There's one here, right? No. Let me find one. I died again. Uh, oops. I'm... I'm good at games. I, I'm a... I'm a broski. Broski. Oh, I started here. Is there gonna be a little... Nope. Hello. No. E. Ha. Ah, oh. Ha. Ah, nah. Good. I'll take the free one in here. I was desperately worried that baseball was just gonna kill me. Okay, and we'll leave. Oh, I can't leave. I have to fly through. <sighs> okay, for real this time, cut to the part where I win. Got it. Nailed it. First try, too. Mm-hmm. And then this opens the little secret path into Donut Secret 1. So we'll play this one. I should go back and get the normal exit, but I don't want to play that level. Not for a bit. The water levels in this game are by far the hardest. Like, the hardest level in this game, without a doubt, is uh, Soda Lake, which doesn't show up till later. But that, that level makes you just want to die. So, so much. Luckily, after you beat a few more levels up here, actually, you get a little secret area that gives you a whole bunch of free stuff. So no level becomes a challenge because of items, it becomes a challenge because you just suck. And I think that's kind of a fitting metaphor for life, in a way. I don't know what way, but in a way. Oops. Whatever, I have that. And now I take the P-switch. I'm just gonna carry it with me for a bit. I don't know why, I just... I like the company. Also, it makes swimming a thousand times easier. No. Okay, hit me, that's fine. Just... Let me get that key. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Anyway, that's where the secret is in that level. Obviously, if me dying to the fish wasn't enough, I should have taken the second fire flower. I'll do that next time. Or this time. Actually, there won't be a second fire flower, I bet. It's just going to be a mushroom that I'll have to hardly collect. Difficultly collect. And then we can keep on going. The fish in this game, I love, I love, I love, I love the fact that there are so many types. And I know that sounds weird, but like Donkey Kong Country, there were like two kinds of fish. It was the ones that go up and down, ones that go left and right. I don't remember any uniqueness there. And I mean, there's... I should have hit that first, taking the fire flower. There's not a whole lot here, but having fish that'll follow you, having fish that wake up... Oh goodness. I forget what those things are called. It's like Rip Van Finkel or Finkel. I don't know, it's some pun, but it's because they sleep. How about you? If you just get away from them enough, they go to sleep. Oh no, I'm good now. Just kidding. I may not be as good as previously thought. Taking it? Yeah! Two secrets in a row. Again, first try. I am simply on a roll. And then ghost houses. Every ghost house has a secret exit, as if finding the normal exit in one wasn't enough. But this is the game that started ghost houses. 
right? Yeah, it definitely did. Hello. Oh, I can like roll, or not roll jump, but spin jump on him. I forget where the secret is here. I'm sure I'll find, oh, I remember where it is. There are some weird piece switch phenomena that happens here. I think that's this one. No, it is. Because the other one, you only need a wing to get the secret to. And I loved that, because it was super easy. See ya. Collect the coins there. So you you see that. You're like, oh, okay, it's going to be a coin silhouette. I better open that, because that's where it's going to be. It's where the normal exit leads you. But if you want to get a super secret one, got to hit that. Because finding that is just a blast. It's a total joy. Searching for hours, and then, here he is. Boss fights. Ghost houses, aside from, like, actual dungeons, have the only other boss fights in the game. And this guy can be tough. Like, I'm gonna make this look easy just from years of experience. But he's not a joke. Especially when you do things like that. Years of experience. I don't know why I thought reaching to the side would let me grab another. Uh, let me get back to him real quick. Got him. Three hits and he's No! I'm alive. Right? Oof. It played the... It played the little star song, or the winning song. I thought I had it. Ooh, that is heartbreaking. I meant to do the jump. Meant to do anything but that. Am I doing this again? I promise I'm good at games. I don't know what it is when I play things on this channel. I assure you, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> oh, that's actually really funny. The fact that it played the fanfare for me too, and paused and let me th think I had it. Ghost houses play dirty, man. I don't trust no one. Not anymore. So we'll take this long, obnoxious, grueling trip back. Because you know how hard walking through two doors and a secret vine can be. Uh, the secret you get from here, I figure I should... Whatever, I'll... Collateral. Which I figure I should talk about is basically a free way to beat the game super early. And I'm considering whether or not I should go for it, try to beat the game, or just, you know, actually play through it normally. I don't like how close you are. Back off. I hate booze more than anything. Like, least favorite Mario enemy. Maybe I don't like bloopers more. I don't know. It's up there. Booze are obnoxious. Also, the very first thing I made out of perler beads for a fun, nifty throwback. Uh, perler beads, I know I've talked about. If, but, oh, I guess, no, this is the second episode. If, if you've heard me talk about perler beads, you should at least decently know who I am by now. Uh, they're little round cylinders you melt into colorful pictures, and they're super cool, and they're not for eight-year-olds, darn it, okay? Gee willikers, you guys need to back off saying that. Uh, but they're so cool. Very first thing I made was a boo. I burnt it super badly, but I'm proud of it, and I'm not pressing any buttons. My hands are off the keyboard and behind my back. Good. The points are being scored. Still a chance for me to make it. Or not a chance for me to die. That's what I meant. And we unlock Star Road. Star Road is super duper cool. And I'll go into it in the next episode. Later.